This video will discuss track chain tension. It is important to have the correct track tension on your power curber. Compressing the spring can damage track components and the crawler frame. It will show up as ripples in the finished product because tension does not allow smooth engagement between the chain and the teeth on the drive sprocket. Not enough tension will cause the chain to drag on the crawler frame. This will also cause premature wear. A good rule of thumb, it is better to be loose than too tight. The easiest way to check the track chain tension is with a 4 foot level and a tape measure. Lay the level across the top of the track after driving forward. Measure the amount of sag as close to the center as possible. This will be the distance from the top of the track pad to the bottom of the level. If you have steel pads, be sure to measure from a high spot, not a low spot. The track should sag between 3 quarters of an inch to 1 inch. If the track has less than 3 quarters of an inch of sag, the chain is too tight. If the chain is touching the top of the crawler frame, then the chain is too loose. Track chain slack is controlled by a grease cylinder. The cylinder should not compress the spring. To create slack, you must release grease from the cylinder. Locate the large grease fitting in front of the drive sprocket. This port is not for lubrication. It adjusts the grease cylinder for assembly, disassembly, and for correction of long-term wear. Use a 1 and 1 16th wrench to turn the fitting counterclockwise. Turn it several rounds until grease begins to escape. This will cause the cylinder to retract and the track chain to sag. Once the desired amount of sag is achieved, tighten the fitting. If the tracks are too loose, you will need to add grease. Find the grease adapter that was provided with your machine. Install it on the grease fitting. Slowly add grease. The track will rise as tension is added to the chain. When the proper sag is achieved, remove the grease adapter. Driving the machine can change the chain slack. You may have to readjust after driving.